What's up, everybody? Doc Dog went on a five. There's levels to this three minute diagnosis. Here we go. Days gone. Overall, it is a great game. Category number one gameplay. The gameplay of Days Gone is great. Everything runs great. Everything is fluid. The gameplay makes sense. You never feel like you're underpowered. You never feel like you're overpowered. There's certain circumstances where you might feel like it's impossible, but you figure out a way to get it done, and it is believable. They did an amazing job with the gameplay. Okay, story. The story of Days Gone, I would say, is okay. I would put it in the okay category. It's good enough to keep you playing the game. It's not anything that's going to make you cry. It's not anything that's going to jar at your hearts or give you a revelation of anything new. But I would, but it's good enough. So I would put it as okay. All right. Uh, graphically, great. Now I've played the game on the PS5, which it looks great. Runs at 60 frames. The HDR, everything looks phenomenal. And I've also played the game on PC. Mainly played it on PC, on a f uh, mobile 4070. Game looks phenomenal. Runs great. So graphically great as well. All right. Atmosphere. The atmosphere of Days Gone is also great. Hence why, if you got great gameplay. Okay story, great graphics, great atmosphere. That's going to average out to an overall great game. You feel like you are Deacon St. John. You feel like what you're doing matters to the point that you can even get lost in the side missions and you don't mind putting over 55 hours like I did into the game, even though the game itself is not that long. It is a great game, and that is Doc's Diagnosis in Under 3 Minutes. We out. Peace.